guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video. And if you're new to this channel, wait, what took you so long? My name is Siddharth Snai. You're watching That Car Guy. Today I present to you the Ford Freestyle. What is it actually? Well, the simple answer is it is a Ford Figo which has gotten the SUV treatment. Think of it this way, it is like the love child of the Ford EcoSport and the Ford Figo. One day, the Figo and EcoSport decided to stay home and do some Netflix and chill. Nine months later, boom, we have the Freestyle. <laughs> that is exactly what this car is. It is a mix of the handsome, handsome Ford EcoSport and the beautiful Ford Figo. Now let's take a closer look at the Ford Freestyle and basically the body is the same as the Ford Figo right over there. There is a cosmetic change overall starting with the grill. Now the grill has this new mesh kind of a design, the Ford logo in the center and the surroundings are blacked out. I think that's really good. The headlights are, they're not the same as the, well they're the same shape obviously but the insides have been changed out like this indicator integration over here. It is all different for the Ford Freestyle. It looks really nice. The bumpers have changed. The bumpers are much more SUV-ish, much more butch-ish. We have this fog light integration over here which comes all the way up and goes all the way like that. Pretty, pretty nice. And towards the bottom, we have this new scuff plate. It's all to give it that more SUV presence. The Freestyle looks totally amazing from the front. And uh, let's go on to the side now. We have 15 inch alloys over here. These are 18560 R15s. We have this new design. This is first for the freestyle. And they have finished it off in this gunmetal kind of a finish. Really, really nice. It really looks good. The tires are on the chunkier side. They have a lot of profile. And we have this uh, fender over here, the plastic fenders, just to widen the whole track of the car, if you can see like that. The track is definitely widened. Well, they're not the track, basically. The body line has been widened. But again, it is to give an SUV look and uh, they have pulled it off very nicely this time. And the plastic cladding continues all the way around the rear wheel. And we have this graphic over here. This is a racing graphic, I guess. And uh, from the side, well, it is kind of similar to the Ford Figo, but ground clearance has definitely been raised. We can see that. This is a large improvement over the Ford Figo. And uh, what else? Uh, well, Surprisingly, we have a cycle on the top. You have to buy this separately. This does not come with the Ford Freestyle. Although this really looks good, I would just get rid of the cycle and keep these, uh, I don't know what they are called. Cycle mounts maybe? Ski racks, ski mounts. The back has been really worked on subtly. The spoiler has been widened. Now this is a much bigger spoiler than that of the Ford Figo. And uh, tail lights are pretty much the same. The uh, boot lid the integrated wiper these are all the same what has changed is again like in the front we have a more muscular more SUV -ish back bumper and they have this integration of air vents these are not real air vents but uh, they kind of look good overall put together the bumper really looks good and if you remember from the front fog light the same kind of a design pattern on the back bumper and also we have that skid plate scuff plate kind of design on the back uh, the number plate housing goes all the way up it's a darkened blackened area we have the rear sensors it is overall a great design and you might be thinking what this is ARP well this is a new stability program it actually means active rollover protection there is a special system and uh, there is a special software program within the traction control of the freestyle which does not allow this car to roll over even at high speeds. I don't know how that works in the real world but that is what it is. Now that was the exterior of the Ford Freestyle. Let's take a closer look at the interiors. So guys, now we're inside the Ford Freestyle. We are outside right now. We have left the showroom. This is their test drive vehicle. and. Uh, there are a number of changes which has happened during the transition from the Ford Figo to the Ford Freestyle. Let's take a look in detail. Let's start off with this beautiful dashboard. Now this car has a three-tone interior. We have the upper portion of the dashboard in this chocolate brown. I like it. I really like that. And we have a contrasting black over here. So this black and brown really looks nice. And uh, the same black and brown theme goes throughout the doors. 
and uh, we have a black roof for the first time if you remember all of this was silverish grayish it used to catch dirt like anything and was not a very nice sight but now it's all blackened out all the plastics are blackened out the sun visors they are blackened out uh, we have vanity mirrors over here pretty nice and the fun thing is we have a vanity mirror for the driver also so hey <laughs> hello so that is pretty unique to the ford freestyle and um, the main change it's right over here this is the new infotainment system this is a touch screen unit this is kind of like the unit in the ford eco sport the new one but uh, let's quickly go through this and see what it is like so this unit is a touch screen like i said we can press on the screen it takes us to different media options the system is it is smooth it is it is really smooth and uh, there is you can have navigation in this somehow this car doesn't have it right now or it doesn't have it plugged in but there is a way to get navigation on this and uh, off the bat the touch is really responsive it's very fluid to use you can just see the transitions happening over there very fluid very nice i've seen touch screen system where the whole graphic just comes to a halt but no this is really fluid really nice and there is a lot of customization options you can do with this car uh, there is too many uh, you can have mobile apps you can download apps from your mobile phone and use it on this vehicle so this is something really interesting we have a function called the my key well um, i forgot to show you this this is the new key for the ford freestyle it is a gorgeous key is really nice we have this aluminium finish on the bottom over here three buttons lock unlock and this is to open the boot uh very very nice looking key very impressed with the quality of this key yes and what is the my key back to this well you have two keys over here you can customize one key to be your own personal key and you can customize the second key as the my key that is when you want to lend your car to your friends or your family so you can customize a lot of things with that key like uh the speed the or the maximum amount of speed like the speed limit the speed limit reminder the volume limit you can limit the volume your passenger has on this media system that is pretty pretty nice uh emergency contacts for the distress calls all of that can be controlled so if i want to give my friend my car and if i give him a mic and set the speed limiter all the way to 20 he's going to be in so much misery <laughs> that's the whole point <laughs> Now if you're not a big fan of the touch screen itself we have hard media buttons over here play seek up down settings so nothing to be afraid of we have dedicated buttons for the media system but it's good to know if you can have a touch screen information screen like i said the animations are so smooth and effortless okay enough of that and we have this metallic kind of a gray finish for the surround of the media system and the ac vents that is pretty unique you know, i'm not i have not seen this i have normally seen piano black or aluminum finish but this is something else so that's that and by the way this is the titanium plus the full option the most expensive ford freestyle you can buy right now but this is the petrol so the diesel is the most expensive trim wise this is the most expensive trim level you can have in the ford freestyle and uh, coming down from that what do we have here we have an automatic climate control and the ac is really good um i got in this car and this car was burning hot because it was left in the sun to bake and as soon as i got in i cranked up the ac within around 2 uh, minutes this cabin was cooled and calm so a big big note is that the ac is fantastic great unit and uh, it's a normal climate control unit we can control the climate over here fan speed max ac that is what that's the switch i went to yep right there and coming down from that we have this uh, little parcel shelf over here you can keep your phones you can keep two keys here all of those good stuff right there and uh, below that we have two usb ports yeah i'm i'm with you guys i'm confused why are there two usb ports more charging outlets so much better and we have the 12 volt power socket over here yep a normal power socket we have another storage area a lot of storage area in this car and we have a button here to turn off traction control 
that is actually a very oddly placed spot. and it is not like the German cars where you have to hold it down for 10 seconds. I can turn off the traction control on just by one click. So if I accidentally press this, the traction control is off right now. I press this again, it's on. You only have to hold it down, but check this out on the dashboard. Check this out, I'm not lying. On, off, on, off, on, off. Ford, you must really look into this. This is a major, major problem you have with this car. And I just found it out. Wow, I'm smart. You see the scenario, you're released your handbrake, want to grab something and boom, your traction control now is off. And you wouldn't even notice this because that is a small, small thing and many people even don't know what traction control is to begin with. So that is a big problem right here. And um, behind that we have the cup holders, another cup holder for the back passengers. and. Uh, I like the way this gear console comes all the way out here. So normally the gear is on the floor, but it is little, it is slightly elevated and it's nice. The overall design is good. And we have a start-stop engine button over here. That's always nice to have. And the Ford steering wheel. I love the steering wheel and the way it handles. I like the design and the way it handles. We have this piano black finish over here. That's also very nice. Um, this car comes with six airbags on the highest trim. This is the titanium plus like I said There's six airbags one over here one over there on the roof. We have airbags everywhere. This is a very safe car The gauges and dials are the same as the Ford Figo nothing too interesting We have an RPM meter on the left in the center. We have a big speedo and uh, over here We have the fuel gauge, which is rather big. I have noticed now. This is the same size as the tachometer. Wow, it's really big and we have the AC vent over here and what else we have the mirror controls and this is a power folding mirror so you can see that the mirror folds so that is always handy to have because you don't want to reach all the way there to fold that mirror and over here we have the European style headlight switches it's a big rotary knob headlight fog light park light everything is right here we have a button here to release the boot that is very handy normally you have to reach your hand down all the way there and you have to fiddle with it and no Ford has thought of this there's a simple button over here press it and it is open and over here we have the window buttons the front is a auto up and auto down that is great yeah only for the driver the passenger one is a manual up and down but that's okay, that's okay. At least they have thought of this and they gave the driver the automatic up and down. And the sound system, guys, like coming back to the sound system, it has a great, great feel. The music, the quality of music is really good. But I can't play anything because I don't have any copyright free music. And YouTube makes a big fuss about it. So, no music for you guys. But take my word, the music system, the quality is really nice. Hey guys, uh, coming to you from the back seat of the Ford Freestyle and this all black interior is, is just nice. I like this because it looks so sporty, it looks so neat. And we have this padding over here. This is really nice. This padding is there so that whenever you rest your arm like this, your hand does not have to touch against hard plastic. So you can rest on this soft cushion. I like these kind of touches which manufacturers are putting into their cars. So thoughtful of them. I like this very much. It's pretty much there in all the doors. Uh, on this door, even on the front doors they have that, even on the driver door. That is a really nice touch by Ford right there. And uh, for the freestyle, I guess they have done something to the seats because these are more comfortable than the Figo seats. At least in my eye, this bench over here, the bench is much wider. I don't recall the Figo having such a wide bench at all. Uh, this is what the front half looks like take in that interior dashboard view yes okay that's enough so now that was the interior now let's go check out the ever so popular boot why do I call it ever so popular because you guys really want to know what the boot is like in every car I do so yeah without further ado let's go check out the boot so guys this car has a 250 liter boot it is pretty good for this size of a car this is the parcel shelf, you can remove it completely and get a lot more loading area. But as far as hatchbacks go, this is a pretty decent sized boot. And uh, yeah, we have hooks over here to put your bags. One here, one here. What is this? Uh, okay, I should not have removed this. Okay. We'll put it back. 
Okay, no one will ever know. So yeah, guys, that is the boot. So guys, that is the freestyle. It is a very, very nice, nice little car. I like it very much. Now, what is left? Uh, we'll check out the engine, shall we? Yeah, we'll check out the engine. I've been driving the Ford Freestyle for some time. They're driving the new 1.2 liter three cylinder petrol. And this is a far, far improvement from the old petrol engine because I have driven a friend's petrol Vigo and that was horrible. It lagged in power, but everything has changed with this new engine and this new gearbox. This is a new five speed gearbox. The clutch is ever so light. It is so nice to drive. The car just feels much more energetic, much more ready for action the throttle response in any gear we don't have to change gears much often i'm planting around in fourth gear right now the car is happily moving about and doing less than 50. the car is at its best in the city with light throttle inputs not much of an enthusiast engine if you want that get the diesel 100 bhp diesel that is for the enthusiast in us that is that is kind of the hot hatch in this segment but the freestyle it serves a different purpose and you might be thinking what is the ride like now with the raised ride height well surprisingly it has not lost its charm because you know Ford Figos and uh, the whole Ford line of the old Ford Fiestas they all had brilliant handling especially brilliant steerings and uh, it's the same in here the steering feel is really nice it's really direct this is an electrically assisted steering but it feels like a hydraulic unit it feels like even if I move the car like this it is sharp it is nice the steering has a well weighted feel everything is sporty and you wouldn't expect that in a car like this and uh, like I said the ride handling it does not jump around the suspension has not gone all soft a little soft than the Ford Figo but not too much of a problem we are not going to take this car on the racetrack but uh, for city driving and uh, the usual commute this suspension setup is really nice it's really plush we went over some bad roads right now and it was pretty solid i'm very impressed with the ford freestyle and uh, what else is there uh, fuel economy i'll get to that in a bit once we park this car i'll tell you more about that later so now let's talk about fuel mileage well the company is claiming a fuel mileage of around 19 kilometers per liter for the petrol version 24 for the diesel version but in realistic terms, expect nothing more than 15 for the petrol and uh, 21 for the diesel. That is in real life conditions. And another huge question is, what does the freestyle cost? It costs somewhere between 5.5 lakhs all the way till 8.8 .8 lakhs. That is from the base model petrol all the way till the full option diesel vehicle. That is a huge range and the car which we tested out today was the 1.2 litre 3 cylinder titanium plus. So guys that was my review on the new Ford Freestyle. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel guys. It means a lot to me and do press the bell icon on the side to get yourself notified whenever I drop a new video. Another huge thank you and shout out to Kyrily Ford for allowing me to come down here, shoot their cars, film in their location. A big big thanks to them. I'll put their link in the description below. If you are looking for a Ford vehicle, please guys do check them out. They are an awesome dealership. So that's all the time I have today guys. We'll catch you pretty soon with another video. Till then, goodbye guys and God bless. To take inside a little bit of popular butte. Butte? No, not butte.